To make a vase with flowers, start by folding your piece of paper, once in half, once again in the opposite direction, and in half again. This is the longest series of videos in our paper cutting tutorials. The tutorial is divided into three parts. Remember, you don't have to make all of the designs exactly as we show them. You can change them if you want. Also, while this design takes more time to complete, it's not necessarily more difficult. It's also a good way to learn how to do many different patterns. To make everything easier, we're going to sketch out specific areas that we will cut later. So we'll start by drawing the shape of the vase and flowers. The exact shape is improvised by the artist, as is the case for most paper cutting patterns. Draw the petals, then the leaves. Once the drawing is finished, attach a pin to hold the folds in place. Start by cutting a small rectangle at the bottom of the vase, like this. Then pierce the paper with the tip of the scissors and make two small diamonds. Be sure to be precise. Then make a small triangle on the side. Make a first curve here. Make a cut next to your curve to widen it. Pierce the paper and make another curve, in line with the first. Now make two more, making sure to widen them after each initial cut. Then cut a small rectangle at the top of the vase, just like the one you made earlier. Below that, make a circular shape, like this. Now make a cut at the bottom of the circular shape. Next, cut a series of triangles, like teeth. You can choose the side you want to cut depending on whether you're right-handed, left-handed, or just prefer cutting on a particular side. Cut a rectangle between the stems. Be sure to follow your sketch. The first part is finished. 